Good morning everybody, welcome to another video. First of November today, it's just got light. I'm down here on the run wonderful River Wye again, as you can see behind me. River conditions are good. It's, um, it's about two or three foot up on summer levels. I'm still on a croy at the moment. Um, there's a nice bit of colour to it. It's about a foot of visibility, something like that. So it's a nice colour, nice height, but it's been raining all night. It's due to rain again today. Probably looking, as you can see, it's looking ominous over there. It's, uh, it's been raining all night, banging it down. Uh, I've checked the river level. It's just starting to come up here. Further upstream, it's properly coming up. So we may be doing some floodwater fishing by the end of the day. I say we. I'm down here with Mike and Colin today. I've brought a couple of chaps guiding, so you'll probably see them in the video. But the idea is we're going to catch some barbel. That's the plan. The river seems okay for it. So fingers crossed, we can do some roving. So you will see the two guys in the video. I'm going to do a little bit myself as well at some point, but uh, I'd really like the, the guys to catch some barbel first before uh, well, I have a crack. But it may be a case of uh, perhaps I go for a wander and try and find some fish and uh, get the chaps onto them. But uh, we'll see. We're going to play it by ear and see what happens. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's do a bit of fishing. Several times caught when I've been using that and been with a couple of other people using different baits and yeah. always that he always that fishes them for barbel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just seem to love it. It's so strong, isn't it? Yeah. I mean if you can smell it on your hands and yeah. kind of waft it around, yeah. it's got to be good, Cut the salmon jumping out down there earlier, and you, you wow well, you had that one here, didn't you? Yeah. Have you emptied the place? Oh, have you got a barbel? A good sized one. Well, I was just talking to Colin and uh, Mike just rang and said he's had a barbel. Perhaps uh, I'm going to have a look. Ready? Oh, blimey. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'll get him up and then I'll try and get myself up. <laughs> I'm falling in the water here. There we go, guys. Unfortunately, we uh, we missed the fight. I was in the other swim, but uh, new PB for Mike. 8.15? 8.15. Cracking fish as well. Yeah, Wonderful. Fish. Great stuff. Fantastic. It, well in there, it switched on. It, it seemed to... I, I struggled in the morning when it was coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it peaked about lunchtime, early afternoon, and started to go off. And it might have been that I just dropped in that peg at the right time, or I, I don't yeah, know, yeah, yeah. but... Then it was, it, I was getting much more, lots more taps and lots more, you know, action all round really. Yeah. And, and caught us three barbel down there. We definitely need to go in that peg in a bit. Probably worth having a move in it, I think. I mean, it's up to you, it's up to you of course. Yeah, well, but, I'm up I don't know how Mike's getting on. Although I would have heard that now. You, you? Yeah, yeah. It's one of them, isn't it, where, you know, off and moving is. Yeah. It can always come back anyway. Yeah. I did see one forecast with lightning on one of those. Nice down there. Yeah. I used to stay in Morgan Fork just outside New Key a fair bit. Oh. <laughs> Definitely a bite. It's the thing with a little slack line out though, isn't it? You just, it's yes. it's a little tiny bite could actually be a proper yep. good old good old clang. <sighs> There's a fish about, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to try some really stinky ground bait, help yourself right. and you as well, Mike. It's um, I won't let, I won't let you smell it because. <laughs> It's that, it's that shrimp and krill, it stinks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got hemp and plenty of pellets in it. But I swear by it this time of year. I go on the cheesy garlic when it gets a bit colder. I'll stick on the fishy ones at this time of year. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. There's not a lot happening here at the minute, is there? No. And we've got all Yeah, it is worth coming back here. It's yeah. generally pretty good. But it's generally pretty devoid of chub as well. So you don't tend to sort of get lots of chubby bites and stuff. Well, as you find out. What you fall on in? <laughs> <laughs> age. 
keep taking the tablet. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye, aye. That's on. That's on. That's on. Yep. Ah. Good stuff. What are we thinking? Mr. Chubb or Mr. Barble? He's kiting in, so it might be a chub. <laughs> he's not on the box, but he's given up a bit. Trying to put you in by your feet. Mr. <laughs> Chubb, it's a nice one. It's a cracker. Come on, in you come. Well done. Well, there we are, guys. Had a couple of moves, haven't we? And uh, finally dropped on some fish. Cracking. Yeah, Wonderful good, stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. Nice one, mate. Yeah. That. Fantastic. Oh, it's good to see how Colin's getting on there. Yeah. Quite a long way up there. I'll, uh, let's go and see. Oh, I've picked the wrong time to do this, haven't I? <laughs> Well guys, there we go. I was in the other swim again, but uh, we've got some footage this time. <laughs> Mike's had another one. Fantastic. Another good scrap, was it? A very good scrap, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, it was going to be as big as the other one, the way it was going. <laughs> we are getting soaked, but it's been worth it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. I was, thinking, yeah, I was thinking about it, I was thinking, yeah, actually, you do really scale down, don't you, for chub? They're not daft. That's so, so why I love fishing meat when I'm trotting for them, because... Yeah. Or bread, because you just bury the up, don't you? You can't see it if it's inside a lump of meat. <laughs> I've been a, a big bread fisherman. Uh, funny enough, uh, I was talking to one of the old boys on the on the river, and he said, a lot of slack. There we go. You're in. Fab. Um, and, he was saying, and so I thought, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and so I gave meat a go this year, and it's been really quite successful for me. That's not a chub, is it? <laughs> I don't think it is the way it's hanging out there. <laughs> they usually head for the edge, don't they? Yeah. Well, guys, Mike's in again. I'm getting rained on, but he's in again. <laughs> Fab. Going you don't know his hook yet, does he? He's, he's playing with you. <laughs> he's thinking, what's, what's going on? Do you want me to do the netting or are you happy to do it or what do you want? I know some people don't like other people netting their fish. <laughs> Just a bit easier, isn't it? Oh. Slide that with them. <laughs> He's off. <laughs> yes. I usually do that. They're doing that when in, when the water was clear. They just have one look at me and they're like, I'm not going near him. <laughs> no way. They do, don't they? They do, they like, uh, 
Look like a last minute surge. Yeah, that last one just plodded up and down here for a little while. Oh, he's trying to get in there, look. Brilliant. So a bit of colour then. I thought I saw something. Yeah. It's nearly on the bank. <laughs> what would normally be the bank anyway. I shan't chase him round but we'll let. There we go. Got it. In you go. Gotcha. There we go. Now he's upset. <laughs> nice one, mate. Well done. It's a hat trick. Fab. There you are, guys. Number three. Fantastic. That's a cracking scrap as well, isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful. And like you say, they do seem fairly free of lice. Yeah, yeah. They just said they could. Yeah. No, yeah. oh, that's... Old shimmering in the side is brilliant. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Fantastic. Nice one, mate. Great stuff. So guys, what a wet day it has been today. It's absolutely chucked it down after the day. But we've had a good, we've had a good day. First time I got my rod out, it's about, um, oh, I'm knocking the camera back. It's about, uh, about four o'clock now, I think. Getting on four anyway. As I say, it's the first time I've had a bit of a dabble, but we got, Sort of two swims that we baited up one of them being a double swim so the two guys have dropped into there and i've dro dropped into the other one let's see if we can wiggle anything out they're just uh, downstream of me only a few meters so perhaps 30 40 meters but it's been a, been a very enjoyable day i do get a lot of enjoyment from uh, helping other people catch it's it's great I do enjoy it We've had, uh, I think, so far, Mike's had three barbel and a chub. A uh, nice chub as well, he's pleased with. I think he's the biggest, biggest one of the season, he said. 314. And um, Colin has had three chub now. So uh, I've put him in a swim that's usually pretty good for some barbel. And now uh, we're getting towards dusk. So fingers crossed, they can uh, some more fish out. And as I say, I just sort of drop in here because I did drop a bit of bait in here earlier. Just sort of drop in, just see if I can winkle myself a fish out. But uh, not really felt the need to, to get fishing today until now. But just uh, been chewing the guys' ears off. We've been chewing the flat together. <laughs> it's been a nice day. But yeah, I just thought I'd leave them in peace for half an hour. <laughs> Let them have a chat with each other, fishing buddies. What we've been using is, uh, obviously the guys have bought their own stuff, but what I've been getting them on as well is this dynamite shrimp and grill, ground bait from the big fish river range. It's got some pellets in it, but I've put more pellets in and I've also uh, laced it up with some hemp and bait, of course is dynamite hot fish glm boilies my favorite barbel bait in the entire world so we'll get that on the hook very messy stuff and what i've done is knocked up some paste that's what the guys have been using today as well to good effect just knocked up some paste from the boilies because there's no paste in this range again i'll link you into a video up there showing you how to make paste from boilies it's quite easy quite effective and just gives that lovely leak off right enough waffle uh, landing that setup of course but yes we did uh, did bake this one up earlier we've not fished it so i thought perhaps i'd give it a go once the guys were doubled up in there fingers crossed can have a perhaps a nice chub or a barbell out. As I say, I'm not too fussed really. I've had an enjoyable day watching the guys fish. 
We've got a lovely crease over there. It's not particularly deep in here. But we'll see what happens. I'll give it perhaps half an hour. I think we'll have uh, had some bites or not in half an hour. close in here we've got some quite turbulent water down to the left here I don't want to be in that I want to be out in the flow well hopefully I'll get away for the rest of the day without any rain I've been properly chucking it down there's certainly a lot of water coming down the river looking at the uh, the gauges upstream up in Wales it's uh, it's proper coming through so it's going to be here in the next day or two I'm actually out again on the river in uh, two days' time with my friend Mick. So uh, I think we're, we're probably going to be in for a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a flood water session that day, or certainly brown water session. It's just starting to creep up at the moment. The river. Just hoping this rain that's gone in hasn't been cold. It's a sort of westerly with uh, with the temperatures reasonable, sort of it's about 12, 13 degrees, 14 degrees, so it shouldn't be too bad. shouldn't put the water temperature down. Because obviously that'll just kill the sport if it does. But, uh, let's not worry about that for today. Let's try and... Okay. I was going to say try and catch a fish. There's lots of plucks in here, but... Like smaller tub, chub chewing away at the paste to me. What did I say about it not raining again? It's just started. <laughs> oh, we've had the worst day today weather-wise. It's been horrendous. I mean, it hasn't just drizzled, it's properly bunged it down all day. <laughs> or pretty much all day. We did leave it as late as we could to try and... Uh, pick some good conditions but when you're booking on the wine esque obviously you, you've got to book and uh, people do book on last minute and we wanted to make sure we got today so we booked this about a week ago but, uh, yeah changes a lot in a week <laughs> the white <clears throat> and the weather I'll give it another 10 minutes and, uh, and I'll go back to the chaps. As I say, we haven't got too much longer left. We've got till an hour after sunset, which I think is probably about... F I think sunset's about four-ish. So we've probably got till about five, something like that. Till it gets properly dark, really. I'm not sure we're going to leave it that late because we're all soaked <laughs> to the skin. <laughs> Well, good. that's it. We're going to call it a day. It's just before five o'clock and uh, we're all soaked to the skin, but we had a cracking day. So really enjoyed that. It's been great to meet some new people and fish with some new people down here. It's been a very enjoyable day. We've been chatting away all day. It's, uh, yeah, mission accomplished. Caught a few fish, which is the aim of the game, isn't it? Fantastic. Now I am going to be out again in a couple of days time. I think on a rather browner river by the amount of rain we've had. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.